guys, I'm Nina. And I'm Randa. Today we're going to talk about what we do for a living, and we are... Strippers. <laughs> nah, just kidding. We're actors. People would probably be less offended, though, if we were strippers. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with being a stripper. One of the things we're going to talk about in this video is that we were in a Taco Bell commercial. We talked about this on our Tumblr, but a lot of people are still asking us questions, so we decided we'd make a video on it. So we make some money from YouTube, but the bulk of our income is actually from acting commercials. We actually started acting when we were five weeks old. In the entertainment industry, they like to use twins because babies can actually have a very short amount of time on camera, like only 30 minutes when they're below age one. So when you have twins, you get double the amount of screen time. You could just switch the babies out. For example, the Olsen twins played one character on Full House. So when the time runs out for Ashley on camera time, they can swap her out for Mary Kate. So we worked a lot as twins. We did diaper commercials. Uh, we did a commercial for Toyota. We we were in the movie Junior with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I still need to see it. Um, and we were on an HBO show called Dream On where we played a little boy, Richard. So we pretty much stopped doing commercials when we were around two. I don't even remember doing them as babies. And that was because our parents didn't want us to be showbiz kids. They wanted it to be our choice. And they wanted us to have normal lives. So we studied dance our whole life. And by the time we got to middle school, we started doing musical theater and we started to love acting as well. So by the time we were in high school, we decided, hey, we want to do this professionally. So we got agents and started working right away. We've been really lucky to have worked a lot. We've done TV shows, lots of music videos with some really cool artists, and lots of commercials like Nintendo, ESPN, Petco, Samsung, JCPenney, Humera, that was a great one. Big sexy hair. And BMW, where we got married to other twins. Yeah, just to name a few. And as a few of you already know, Taco Bell. So Taco Bell and Del Taco are actually places we grew up eating at. We would eat there in a pinch or sometimes when we were at the dance studio and we couldn't come home for dinner, we would eat Del Taco. To this day, our favorite combination is beans, lettuce, and ketchup, and that is because it reminds us of our childhood. I think we can all agree that vegans can eat at Taco Bell. Here we'll show you that PETA actually has a list of different things on their menu that vegans can eat. Fellow YouTuber friend Stella Ray actually just made a video recently ordering vegan at, at Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. How cool is that? 100% we will be in a commercial for a place that has vegan options. This was a couple of years ago. We got a call to go in for a Taco Bell commercial. So our agent knows that we're vegan and does not send us out on auditions where we would not be eating vegan food. And a lot of times in the breakdowns, they'll actually say no vegans. So for this Taco Bell commercial, my mom was talking to the casting director and said, hey, they're vegan, and the casting director said, oh, that's fine, we just need twins for this commercial. So all we knew is that this commercial was gonna have identical twins, and once we got in the room, they said that the twins will be opposite, so one's kind of more sassy and the other one's kind of more sweet. That's really all we knew. So we got a call back, which if you don't know what that is, it's a second audition, and then our agent called us and told us we booked the job. We were so excited. Now when you book commercials, a lot of the times, they don't tell you exactly what you're gonna be doing until you get to set. They don't give you the script until you get to set. And not to mention, we didn't even have any lines. So on the day of the shoot, there's three sets of twins, and the director came to us and said, you are the good twin and you are the bad twin. So each pair of twins, one was good and one was bad. And then the director says, you're gonna walk into your side of the bedroom, which was the set, and pretend to bite into this taco and smile at Nina. Whereas, and then he, and he told me like, you're just kind of more cool, like you're the more spunky twin. So once we were there, on the day of the shoot, we found out that this wasn't just a commercial for Taco Bell, it was a commercial for a specialized product. Very specific product. So we literally found out as we were like getting our wardrobe and makeup on, and we found out that it was for chicken tacos, and me and Randa kind of just looked at each other like, like, oh shoot, like we we, we just kind of, we just, we just stayed silent. We, we looked like, at each other, and like kind of in a panic, like, oh wow, like this is for ch like a chicken taco. I mean, obviously we don't have to eat anything, but still as vegans, we were like, oh wow, like this is, this is kind of scary. Like, I am I okay with this? And once we got into our trailer, we called our mom. We were like, oh mom, it's for chicken tacos. Like we don't have to eat anything, but like I feel kind of, I feel bad. Like it's for chicken, you know, it's not something we'd eat. So I'm talking with my mom and she says, do you have to eat it? And we say no. And she says, okay, well good. Because if you did, I would understand you wanting to walk off the set because they have to disclose that. And she said, now you can leave the set if you want, but just understand that there will be consequences if you do that. 
and that being we could possibly be sued or we could never work again. Never work again in our life. Be fired from our agent. We're professional. We weren't just going to leave the crew. We weren't going to leave them without any actors and cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, we're going to do this job. We want to work again. We want to be in this business for our whole life. Now, to be honest, if we would have gotten in the breakdown that this is for a chicken taco, we probably wouldn't have even auditioned. We wouldn't even, we wouldn't have even, like, considered it. But with the, the scenario that kind of happened, we didn't have to eat it. And so we decided, okay, yeah, we're going to be professional. We're going to do this. Now, as myself, as Nina and Randa on our YouTube channel, would I promote eating a, like a, a Dorito chicken taco? Heck no, of course not. Would I promote the, the vegan options at Taco Bell? Yeah, I would say in a pinch, like, this is a cool thing. I support this. But as myself, I would never promote that. Yeah, when you're not acting. Just like, you know, if I'm playing a killer in a movie, don't worry, I'm not a killer in real life. I'm playing a character. So we were on the set for about four hours. We shot that scene about a dozen times. We didn't have to eat anything non-vegan, and then we, we went, went home. home. Bottom line is, all we knew is that we were gonna be identical twins, and when we got there, we found out that it was for chicken tacos, and we just rolled with the punches. We tried to be as professional as we could. We were also in a BMW commercial recently, and we didn't check to see if the seats in the car were made out of leather. But even if they were, we'd still do the commercial. Actually, another person that you married, there, there was a bunch of vegans on set. We were all thrilled to be like in a BMW commercial. Some people are saying, you were in a Taco Bell commercial, stop calling yourself vegan. And to them I say, sorry I'm not sorry, we are vegan. And always will be. And you don't get to define us. Some people are commenting, you guys are fake, this is like a Cena all over again. And that's ridiculous because she lied to her followers, took their money, and had this whole fake persona of who she was, and we've never done that. We worked a job. But that's how we make our living, we're actors. But our passion is making videos and spreading veganism, teaching people how to become healthy and helping the world. And I think we've had a lot of success in turning people over to this lifestyle as I think our parents have as well in the last 20 years. It's in our DNA to help people be vegan. Our parents are vegan activists. We've been in the public vegan eye since we were age three, and we've been spreading veganism our entire life, and we're gonna keep doing that. Hope we answered your questions, and if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Jackie is not vegan, but he's still a nice guy. And we will see you next video. Bye!